Greetings Java viewers and welcome to the seventh tutorial of Minecraft Mining for Beginners 1.6.2 with Forge. In this episode we're going to be looking at making our own salt. Um, so yeah, so let's just get started. So first we want to initialize it. So public static item modium salt. And yeah, no, let's just do like that for now. Um, Let's put it down here. Oh wait, fail. So the modium sword is equal to new. So yeah, I made all the tools last time. So it's basically um, when you're making the axe, you copy everything from item X and add in um, your texture. And the same with shovel, you add in everything from item spade. It's called and hoe. It's just item hoe. So. It's really simple. All right, uh, new item modium sword at thousand and seven, comma enum tool material dot uh, emerald. I'm gonna, I want to make this sword a little bit stronger than the rest of the tools. Dot set on localized name modium sword this is that is that's it yeah laziness all right um i believe that's it let's go and make that a class Mm. Items there. Uh, new class item modium sword. Some of you might already know how to do this, so. But I'm I'm just gonna make a tutorial anyway for it. Um, you wanna open up item sword. Control A, Control C, Control A, Control B. We get loads of errors. Change your package, create and rename the type, and import. So I think this is method where you import everything. I just really don't know how it's done. Oh well. Oh well. Um, item stack should I fix a lot of errors? Right? Yeah. And enum action. Alright, the enum action, uh, the block, it's not like a block, it's like you're blocking. Um, we should actually do something very funny. Let's change the enum action to um, the bow. Even though you're still blocking. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's just uh, add in, of course. The register icons at the bottom. Item multi and oh, the item budget line. Sorry, and um, import. Now, basically, why I'm making this video is because we're gonna customize the sword a little bit instead of just um, you know just making like a tool. We're gonna customize this sword a lot. So let's try and run it when we got a texture inside. So bam, modium sword goes there. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Wow, this really happens often, right? I really just fail on something and then I have to go out. So of course you want to add a name to it. See, this happens a lot, right? Don't you agree? Whenever you watch my videos, it's like I do something and then <laughs> a second after, it's like I'm back and uh, I forgot to blah blah blah. That's pretty. F um, it, I don't know if it's irritating because I'm pausing it, so it doesn't really matter for you guys, but yeah, let's go ahead and run it again. Alrighty then. Uh, you guys can see that a diamond sword does plus 7 damage. 
an iron sword that's plus six and also a mighty sword that's plus seven just like the diamond one so let's go ahead and test this and um uh, all right we really shouldn't have to put one i think an iron sword is like two uh no it might be two hits but i, I really really don't remember i think iron sword is three but uh, you know it's like a diamond sword that's all i wanted to show you <laughs> And it's in here. So uh, yeah, this is how far we've gotten with the mod. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and add some customization to the sword. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I found this awesome method in uh, OFA oh, in item Java. It's called on left click entity, and it has the entity as a parameter, which you guys are like, why is that good? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. This is going to be legendary. Alright. Um, you want to make this return true. Yeah, you want to copy the thing and put it in your item modium sword. Now what we want to do above this is we want to do entity. So all lowercase because we, we, use it, we use the parameter entity and have it all lowercase. And it's called dot. Uh, let's put motion y to plus equal. Um let's say three what this will do is now the sword will not do um, that much damage as an iron diamond sword but what it will do is that whenever we left click which means hit on the entity it will go up in the air which is kind of funny let's add some more things to it actually and to tie dot so here you can just add loads of things you can just scroll down and look whatever you want to have so um Let's see. Um, there's the motion. Why see? No clip. <laughs> wow, no clip. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, let's have a look at. Um, um there should be something fun in here, right? Something. Please, just something. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like it, guys. Yeah, he is burning. All right, let's go ahead and run this. All right, this is gonna be kind of fun. So whenever we hit it right now, it will send up the zombie or whatever you hit in the air, and we'll put it on fire, which I think is pretty hilarious. All right. Whoa! Bam! All right, that was pretty high. Um, it doesn't look like it's going up in the air, but see that? <laughs> yeah. All right, that's pretty funny, actually. So um, yeah, you can just play around with these. Um, you can also. It doesn't look like that one's working anyway. Um ooh, he's invisible. Mm, Alright, I could make the burning work, but I don't really want to play around with it right now. Um You could put set fire, I think. <coughs> um Yeah, but I'm not gonna play around with this, but yeah, that is pretty funny that you can just hit it and it goes in the air and when it hits the ground, bam, it's dead. Uh, you can also make the like motion X so that it just goes like, um, let's say from here. The P, let's say this is P is the ground, right? And the zombie will just go like straight up to R, so it's going bam that way, you know, up and to the side. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it, and um, as always, it's time here. Have a great day or night, and I'm out. Um, let's add what's the highest ID.